Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Welcome to the Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange doing a political commentary. Mostly now I'm going to be pushing this on Opera News. Download Opera News because they have picked up the Correct Views. Yes, it's still part of the Media Speaks media, uh, uh, media group. You can still find most of the videos on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the correct views. Gab, rumble, the correct views on both of those, yes. However, Opera News seems to be the direction that we're going to want to take things in if we want to make sure that we are being seen and heard and the facts are getting out. The other thing is the new format is that the shows are going to be 10 minutes long. There might be four or five of them posted a day, but they're going to be much shorter, which means the dumdy of the day will not anymore be coming at the end of the show. It's going to be one topic on each of the postings moving forward here, now that we're doing things a bit differently. And uh, there will still be the Dump Cap of the Month award show. It will likely be posted in parts. Um, so let me ask you something. I, talking about YouTube, I recently got a video banned from YouTube for asking questions regarding a certain virus. So what we're going to do now is we're not going to mention any of that. We're just going to say, you know what? Forget it, Sam. You're a good fiction writer. Become a fiction writer. Forget about politics. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I want to let you guys know, stay to, stay to the end of the video. You're not going to know what I'm doing here. Let's just focus on doing nothing but a fictional writing. Fictional writing. Let's forget politics. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write a novel based on the Georgia Guidestones. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Georgia Guidestones are almost twice as tall as, tall as Stonehenge. You can see the facts here. Uh, nearly a quarter of a million pounds of granite was used to make them. And the stones have ten messages on them as follows. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Now, you can see the other ones. A guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity, unite humanity with a new language. On and on and on and on. Language borders culture is how a country is built. So that... That there is a is a nod toward a, a, a one world government, which of course we see in the Book of Revelations, and uh, not just if you're not a Christian, you find uh, this warning in almost every major religion that has ever been. They warn specifically against one world governments. A uh, rule, passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nation with fair courts and just laws. Um, and, and there's a number of things on here, but I want to get to the big one. Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. There are, you would need to wipe out billions of people to reach 500 million people. You would have to wipe out most since we can't talk politics anymore and we can't talk about a certain um, pandemic which is rolling around in our work of fiction, I thought it would be interesting to possibly find ways that, I mean, you can't just kill billions and billions of people. What are there, seven billion people in the world? You can't just kill um, six and a half billion people without anybody noticing. It's almost the entire world. So what would you do? Well, you, uh, you create things like nuclear power plants, which uh, cause cancer even during what's called a routine release. Uh, basically, a, a lot of uh, pressure builds up. And you can imagine blowing up a balloon. If you don't let a little bit of it out once in a while and you keep inflating it, it's going to blow up and you're going to have a nuclear catastrophe. So you, you would build these things and uh, you know the routine releases create what Hel Dr. Helen Caldicott loves to call a routine cancer. Of course, there is no such thing. Uh, one of the other things you might do, and this is my fictional story because I don't want this video to get banned anywhere, um, and I, that's not directed at uh, op opera. I'm looking at you, YouTube. Um, what I would do in my fictional story here is I would find a way to release a virus 
which was very, very good at kill killing the elderly. Now, of course, this doesn't tie into anything that's actually happening. It's a story idea I have. You would make sure that this virus was very, very good at killing the elderly because those are the most expensive to take care of. Now, you would do other things besides just this virus. Maybe it would be a series of stories. Like you could talk about uh, the dumbing down of society in general, which makes these things kind of useful. It was, uh, you could look back at the Tuskegee experiments, how they picked the African Americans who had the lowest level of education to exploit them. Well, maybe, maybe in my fictional story here, maybe they've learned how to do this better. And in my fictional story, they're going to go ahead and decide if you can dumb the entire nation down, then you don't need to find one demographic or one group of people or one class of people who you can manipulate like this. You could do it with everyone if you would dumb down. So I would dumb people down in a number of ways. You know, in the school system, I would make... Uh, I would make it so that nobody knows who they are anymore, maybe uh, get them to squabble amongst themselves over little things, like what kind of food they like, or maybe what color they are. Not, not that that would ever really happen, of course, in real life. I would do that. I would push that. And uh, in terms of having a dumbed-down society, you, you can manipulate them a lot more easily, of course. And then you can get them to do various things. For instance, you would be able to get them to take, uh, in my story, there would be this experimental drug, which was supposed to cure you of a great number of diseases, or maybe prevent you from getting a disease. Um, when the, when the, when the, it started not to work well, I, I would come up with something like, uh, oh, maybe a barrier jumper, or maybe I'd call it uh, a breakthrough case. You could call it a breakthrough case. I don't know. But I would come up with that, and then I would um, I'd see if I could get a lot of people to take this drug. And I would tie this into other conspiracy theories to which people were wrong about. So that if anybody complained about my injections, or my dumbing down of people in the school system, or my building of nuclear power plants... You could set up an infrastructure where all of those people felt like they were crazy. So now you've got like the useful idiots. And these are the people who are blocking the truth from being told while the idiots are being herded and shepherded and dumbed down and tested upon and whatever. And then, of course, as the story progresses, you have to kill the useful idiots because at the end of the day, you have to get the number down to 500 million people. And then you have to keep the number at 500 million people. Now... Again, how how would you how would you do that? It, it's such it's so hard being a fiction writer, isn't it? You'd have to think how would you get people to put a drug into themselves, which we're not really sure how, how they work on each individual person. Well, you wouldn't be able to do that without an infrastructure of untruth, if you will. So this is just an idea. I, I get it. It's not, it's not referencing anything in real life. I'd like to know what you guys think of my novel idea. You guys are listening to the correct views. Good night, friends. God bless. Please subscribe. Please hit share.